when you hear that we're budget cutting again, we get nervous. The public schools need to cut $20 million from their budget and they're turning to the community for help. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Parents and teachers getting the chance this evening to say what they would like to save and what they're okay with cutting. Two works for you as Christy Maria shows us the areas that they're most passionate about as the latest round of cuts approaches. I will fight for the West Side with everything I got. Holly Brown has two students, one a freshman here at Webster High School, the other just graduated. They both have gone through school consolidations three times. They're nervous the $20 million cut could mean a fourth. But every time somebody hears, you know, we have to have budget cuts, everybody goes into panic mode. That's why Brown joined the packed house Tuesday night to have her voice heard about what she wants to see stay through 2021. It seems as though it's getting more difficult and more difficult, and it shouldn't be. Nancy Davis taught at Tulsa Public Schools for 41 years. She sees how much schools and classrooms have changed over the past several decades and is nervous about what could be on the other side of these cuts. I knew how it used to be. Now I want to find out how it's going to be. And hopefully it's going to be for the children. Parents and teachers would talk about what they would hope stays in the 2020-2021 budget. They also found out how much keeping those aspects will cost. It concerns me terribly because it affects them terribly. There will be 11 meetings in total with two entirely in Spanish over the next two weekends. You can find more info on each meeting on our website right now in Tulsa. Chris DeMaria, Two Works for You.